Um, it's 10 in the morning in Hokkaido Sapporo and today is raining quite a bit so yeah I thought that near my place that I'm staying currently at there's this famous market called Mijo Market there's a seafood market that has lots of fresh fish I think it's worth to visit so I'm just gonna go and grab some bites and later today I'm gonna be planning to go to Otara Keno so let's go if you come to Hokkaido or Sapporo at April or May, I think they still have a little bit remaining of sakuras here. So one of Hokkaido's specialty is their seafood. And at Nijo's Market, you can try lots of different seafood starting from salmon, um, to crabs, and um, scallops and everything else. Here, I came across a very special restaurant. They serve everything crab and today I'm gonna try this fresh king crab don and also the king crab tempura so let's try it out this is the king crab don so huge look at it and along with that I got king crab soup I can't describe how yummy it is. You just have to try it yourself when you're in Hokkaido. So the next one is the Nama, honey crab, done. So this is raw. The texture is like jelly and it doesn't smell at all. This is the name of the restaurant. This is melon ice cream. Hokkaido is also famous for their melon, so let's give it a try. So across from Nijo Market, you can directly go to Tanuki Koji. It's like a one-way street with lots of shops, some of the restaurants. So yeah, you can definitely come here to get your shopping. There's Sakura. Whoa. This looks scary. So just now I came across this Rixo guy and he offered me right through Otaru and I will show you in the video. It looks so much fun. Before we took off, he probably sat and put blanket on me because it was quite chilly then. And also he placed this kind of like red plastic thing around the Rixo so that I won't get wet by the rain. Along the ride, he explains to me a lot about Otaru's history and also interesting facts. Still did I know that Otaru is Japan's third largest riding city back then. But now, they are really famous for their sake distilleries, glasswork, and music boxes. This road is special for Rixo. So if you wanna explore a new place and want to get to know more about that place, try and consider riding this rickshaw. The rickshaw guy was super friendly and he was helpful too. And also he introduced me to lots of interesting places that I should visit while I was in Otaru. So the rickshaw ride was so much fun. And after I went down from the rickshaw, he gave me one postcard and sticker. So there are four versions of the sticker and the one that I got now is the Sakura season. And after you accumulate four of the stickers, you will get presents. I go inside of the glass museum and then these are the ones that was put up in the picture. So it's real stuff. But I cannot talk so loud here. It's really pretty. century this was a real functioning bank but now it is art exhibition that you can visit it's a real fault the fault was dark and i kind of feel scared by that so after i took this footage i just dash out from the place 
At Sakai Machi Street, you can find Kotaro specialty glass and wooden works, and you can shop around here. There are also some workshops around here that you also can check out. I'm trying this one out. The beautiful castle looks so good. One of Hokkaido omiyage that you should not miss is Nepal. They have fantastic cheesecake and the chocolate is good too. This one is the must try cookie. Purchase about 2,000 yen. Get one free ice cream. at Suzukino and I'm going to the ramen alley now. So this is the famous ramen alley Yokojo in Suzukino and you have to check it out but because there are masters nowadays there are some restaurants that are closed and it's quite sad here because the last time I visited here there are lots of people queuing everywhere. I'm at Sapporo Specialty Miso Ramen Shop. The soup of miso ramen is using koteri, which is pork bones and flavored miso. The insides are bean sprouts, hard boiled egg, pork belly, and so much more. It was so good! Oh my gosh! Anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my journey. And don't forget to also like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!